I spoke today about the five enduring challenges uh, that we face, the ones that will still be there in 2020. Uh, the first of those is the economic challenge. Uh, we know that we are post the credit crunch in the deepest and longest recession we've seen for uh, a considerable time. And growth will still be a key issue, not just national growth, but local growth. To what extent are places uh, providing local leadership to grow their economies and prosper? Second challenge, of course, the fiscal challenge. Uh, we know now uh, that the task of tackling uh, the deficit will go beyond uh, this parliament into the next parliament. Uh, we know that for any government there will be some incredibly difficult choices to make uh, when they come to public spending and, and for, to my mind we will have to think very hard on focusing on outcomes from that spending and not simply talking about uh, the services themselves. Uh, third challenge, uh, one that's been there and still is there, the environmental challenge. Uh, of course uh, the UK is not uh, the biggest player in terms of its impact on the uh, global warming issue. Uh, but we have a key leadership role, we have to adapt to climate change and we have to crucially secure future energy supplies uh, for the country. Uh, fourth challenge that we have to focus on is the demographic challenge. Uh, and the issue here is not about uh, us getting older, uh, it's a good thing that we live longer. Uh, the issue is about health expectancy. To what extent is people health uh, improving and continuing uh, alongside their longer life expectancy? And we know from the long-term projections by the OBR uh, that unless we can come to terms with this issue and ensure that people stay healthier longer, uh, costs are going to be very uh, substantial indeed in every sense. And then finally, the issue of trust. And there are many debates about whether politicians and public administrators should focus on the issue of trust. Uh, but in my view, I think we should. I think recent years uh, with the Jimmy Savile events, um, with the announcements around the Mid-Staffordshire Hospital, the report on the Mid-Staffordshire, uh, all of these point to uh, issues coming up around institutions that we have previously seen as uh, and held in high regard and always taken for granted. And I think uh, absence of trust will make it much harder to deliver the sort of fundamental changes we're going to need uh, in the future. So focusing on reducing the gap between the governing and the governed is crucial.